Hey everybody, how's everybody doing again? I'm going to show you this real quick video on, uh, they have these boxes in the store that is, I'm not going to say any brands or anything, but so, different brands, but uh, on this noodle soup, it's a chicken broth and it's just got noodles in it, don't have chicken in it, but I'm going to show y'all real quick, an easy way, how you can make it at home without having to buy it like that in the box. Hold on, just, it doesn't turn the camera. Alright, right here in my pot. I got four cups of water in here in my pot right here. I'm going to turn that on. Back around. I'll turn that on high. And then I've got my L.B. Jamison here. Good old chicken my soup base. So I got, uh, so I'm going to use one. That's a tablespoon. Two. All right, I'm going to use three tablespoons of my L.B. Jamison in there. And then, see these little, you can buy these little vermicelli noodles. See them little noodles? And then, then we'll cook up just like that. These right here, I think, golly, gee, that save a lot. They wouldn't be like, I don't know, 30 cents a pack or something like that. Real, real, real cheap. Just trying to show you little ways, to, little tidbits on uh, saving a little money, too, on, on stuff. So, I'm going to let this water come up to boil, and then I'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Okay. My water here, my, let me turn that down, because it's going to, let me turn my, brain. see y'all, it's just boiling away. And what I added to that, let me set that off there just a second, get that to stop boiling for a minute so you can see. I had, I added a few of these to it. I like the flavor in it. And I added a little bit of parsley in there. And now I'm fixing to add, because this is for me. I, I'm going to eat this uh, here whenever it gets done here in just a little bit. This is, this is for me. I'm going to add a little butter in there. Melt that little bit of butter in there. To give it a little bit of uh, a little richness, not much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then get me a, a tasting spoon. Oh, uh, remember what I told y'all about tasting things and not double dipping. You can get into practice of not double dipping when you're at home, then you won't do it when you're out somewhere else. Mmm, man, that's so good. Holy moly, macaroni. All right, so I got one cup of these little tiny vermicelli noodles. I'm going to add that to that water. And I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna let that cook in, and and don't take like three four minutes for that to cook. But uh, I'll be right back when it gets cooked. Hey everybody. Okay. All right, my noodles. You see my soup? You see? Can y'all see that? Let me get some scoop. Let me get some scooped up in this bowl right here. I'm gonna show you. Like I say, y'all can do this at home. It, it, you know, just if you can. I'm, I know there's a lot of people that can't because things have done got so bad in this world now. I understand that. But I'm just saying, if you can keep one container, or at least one container of this Jameson soup base, or you can use any soup base you want. You know, that's your preference. My preference is this Jameson. I like it. Uh, you don't have to use a whole lot of it, and it goes a long way, and the flavors are so, so, so good. So that's why I use this. I found this, and that's why I use this, because it's, it just, and I put three tablespoons, let me go back on my, my thing, I had put three tablespoons in four cups of water on this uh, earlier, y'all saw, and then as I, you taste it. It's very important when you cook and tasting things. See, I added just a little bit too much of this soup base because it was a little saltier than what I wanted. So that's why I say, you can't take away from it when you add to it. So I had to add some more water in my pot and boil it down for just a little bit anyway. And then I got it just where I, I needed it. But in this soup, uh, noodle soup like this, if you want to add uh, fresh uh, 
some fresh chicken breast that you may have cooked or something like that or if you have some canned chicken or uh, if you want to add carrots or anything like that in this when it's cooking to make you a noodle soup I, I just wanted some noodle soup some chicken noodle soup you know no chicken and so let me turn my camera around and see this is what I got right here in my clear bowl y'all see that y'all see that those uh let me go get this pack of noodles again hold on i'll put it up in the, in the uh in the pack. and that's with this little pack and i bought these at save a lot they was like i think it was like 30 cents a bag or something like that it wasn't very much uh and then this this soup base right here is like three dollars and, and something at piggy weekly uh and is this will go a long ways in you know making a lot of stuff because it says it's 91 servings on the thing. So it does go a long way for the for the money. So penny for penny, you can make this at home and just keep the little things in your pantry if you can. Uh, and then, you know, if somebody's sick or you just want a bowl of noodle soup or something like that, you can have it in your pantry. There's little tidbits from the lunchbox I'm just passing on to you. And then just season it, flavor it, however you want it, you know. And, you know, like I say, on a day when you're sick or not feeling well and you ain't got nobody to go to the store for it and get some chicken soup or something like that put your pot of water on put you a little bit of this in your in your water you can add carrots you can add onion you can, I, I put some dry onions in mine uh, a little parsley and these little little vermicelli noodles right here that i found anyway and uh make you a good okay, background make you a noodle soup see you can do it right here. Look, that's, I just got to turn that off. That's still cooking. Look at there. Woo. Look. Make you a big pot of noodle soup. And then you'll have it. Or if you want to make some up for a friend or somebody that you know that, that may be sick. Or if you want me to make some up, uh, just call me and let me know. Uh, for somebody with this COVID going around, it's still so many people sick. So many people in the hospital people that I know, nobody in my immediate family, praise you Lord, has been sick with it yet, but there's so many people that I know, uh, their families, their loved ones are sick and dying from it, and so I, I still say we need to be, you know, take care of each other and stay safe, and, you know, if you're not feeling well, if you're sick, you know, don't go out, stay at home, you know, don't, don't, don't pass the, the stuff around, because you may not be as sick from it, and you might pass it on to somebody else, well, it may be fatal to them, so, you know, stay at home if you're sick, you know. That's what the CDC and all them say, you know. But uh, that's my preference on it, too. But anyway, so I just wanted to show y'all how I make this noodle soup at home. So on days when you're sick, if you want me to make you something, just or a loved one or whatever, because I've done that, you know, uh, several times for people call me, want me to make them some chicken noodle soup or anything like that. So if I make it for them and take it in Batesville wherever they want me to, deliver it to you know uh, drop it off with their family or whoever it may you know be may be and uh but just call text or message me and let me know if you want me to make it for you and i don't mind making it for you 662-209-5250 thank you y'all have a blessed day and i'll see you later